Hello, I'm Michelle Bachman, and this is Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at the film that shaped my political philosophy, George Powell's Atlantis, The Lost Continent. This is 1961, and George Powell had just had a pretty big hit with the time machine. Look at all these good movies in a row there. And it's kind of bizarre that he then directed this obviously low budget, that's from Quo Vadis, uh, full of stock footage from MGM, Atlantis, The Lost Continent. This is kind of a sad picture. Um, I loved it when I saw it in the theater. Uh, I especially loved The Beast Men. Now that submarine was in Forey Ackerman's yard for the longest time until someone stole it. Never, we never found out who, it was upsetting. But there is one element of this as a kid I really liked, which was this evil wizard sorcerer guy known as the Chief or Ed Platt. Uh, he invents this, that's the death ray. But more interesting are these beast men pulling the death ray. He invents this weird kind of crystal charm that turns them into beast men. And instead of the House of Pain, like Island of Lost Souls, they have the House of Fear. Uh, I don't know who they are. This is kind of funny. That's a shot from Quo Vadis in which they inserted the death ray. More Quo Vadis. This was, I remember this. This was the ordeal by fire where people are getting burned and then they fill it full of water. And you're thinking, well, wait a minute, the fire was worse. Anyway, that's a prop. Someone tell me what movie. I think it's, I, I know there's a still with Rita Hayworth in front of it, in front of that thing. There's the crystal and the guy inventing the beast men. See, the terrible house of fear. This was kind of cool when you're 11. Um, those masks are kind of embarrassing when you're you know, 17. Anyway, I enjoyed this picture when I saw it. Uh, I tried to watch it again. It was a futile task. But George Powell kind of just, I don't know what happened to George. He just started making these silly movies. But again, ahead of his time, I mean, you know, he made Doc Savage, Man of Bronze. It was, it was a disappointing film, but he obviously foresaw what uh, Hollywood would become. All these shots from Quo Vadis intercut with uh, the back lot and the creative genius of George Powell. He was a very nice man, by the way. 